Okay, so this, this particular study um, was a sort of a one-off project to go down to the Tasman Fracture CMR, a, a new Commonwealth Marine Reserve off the southern coast of Tasmania, um, one that's been in place for a bit over seven years now. And, and part of that marine park um, is a zone where it's completely closed to fishing, a no-take zone. So we've been quite, um, I guess, curious to see what level or, or, or what sort of changes may have accumulated in that park following uh, that, that period of no-take protection. Uh, AUV stands for Autonomous Underwater Vehicle. So it's a, a vehicle, we, we throw it off the back of the ship, it's uh, got some com computers on board which are used to um, estimate its position so it knows where it is and we program it with a particular mission. So it goes down, it'll then follow that mission for a number of hours, uh, the deployments we did off Mount Syker, I think we had it in the water for about six and a half hours at bottom time, um, surveying in the marine reserve. This tool's been brought to us by IMOS, and it's, it's one of the most successful of all of the pieces of equipment that we've been able to access as, as a group of coastal ecologists around Australia. Um, it's being used in a whole range of, of similar projects, um, ranging from, from the northwest of Western Australia right round to the Great Barrier Reef, round to Tasmania, and, and looking at, at all of these deep reef systems and, and the sort of changes that we're seeing in them through time. So the AV is equipped with a number of instruments, including high resolution stereo uh, imaging systems, so cameras. Um, we have multi beam sonar. We also um, take measurements of the um, water column, so temperature, salinity, uh, dissolved organic matter. Um, all these are measured by the instrument while it's underway. Um, and that's recorded on, on board, and then when we get it back, we get the imagery and we can build three-dimensional models of the sea floor that we've surveyed. This work was undertaken with funding from the Federal Department of the Environment uh, as part of uh, work for the Marine Biodiversity Hub, uh, of which we're, we're part in collaboration with a range of players, including CSRO, on this project. So it was a one-off, really, opportunity to go down there and map it and then look at the distribution of reef systems. It's really heavily dominated by soft corals. So we, you know, in the temperate zone, that's pretty unusual. When, when we go around most of southern Australia, we find bottoms in that depth are, are often covered by, well, pretty much primarily by sponges. But in this case, soft corals appear to be at least sort of 50% of the cover. You know, what we learn in the reserves and the effects of some of the fishing activities, for example, is, is not just important for managing the reserves, it's actually really important for managing our, our fisheries and the way we, we, we treat the rest of that coastline because we've got really no idea of the state of most of these habitats out there in, in, in deeper waters. Um, fishies, fisheries science basically focuses on single species and, and they never really get the opportunity to look at habitats. In this case we're looking at the habitats. So we can not only um, tell you how the marine park's going, we can tell you the overall health of that adjacent area, you know, whether there's influences of overfishing, whether there's impacts of threatened species, um, what are the kind of changes we might see as a result of climate change and how might they alter the fisheries and things that depend on them. So you know, th this work's I guess really important for a whole range of reasons, not just a singular focus.